Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about merging and splitting uh, contents of cells in Microsoft Excel. Um, and actually, this is a very, very uh, useful thing that a um, lot of people um, use, and I personally use it a lot, um, that I have a set of data that I imported from other program, from a Word file or whatever the place I got it from. And um, all the data that I have uh, are just in one cell, and I want to... Uh, split it into uh, many cells um, and usually uh, if it's one or two cells it's easier to do it manually uh, but if you have many cells uh, it's uh, gonna be a very very time consuming process and that's why um, I'm, I'm making this video because there are some options in Excel um, that can help you make this process uh, efficiently and quickly uh, with just few clicks um, and also one other thing that people need to do sometimes is that they have contents of different cells and they want to merge them into one cell um, and we are gonna see both today so the example that that I'm gonna be showing you today is this um, this is a list of some random names and um, these uh, every one of them has a first name middle name and last name and what I want to do is to split this into first name separately middle name and last name um, and um, as I told you if you if you want to do it manually it's gonna be very very time consuming especially if you have um, so it's here 42 maybe you can have 100 200 300 so it's not gonna be uh, possible to do it by hand to get every one of them and then take the first name and then copy it paste in another cell and so on so the option that can take care of all this is called um, data uh, in data it's called it, it's text to column so as you say it says splits a single uh, column of text into a multiple column so uh, before um, we go ahead and start that just make sure that um, this uh, uh, cells uh, or, or the cells that you're gonna split um, need to have some free space be beside them so this is three um, names so you have first middle and last name so you want to make sure that there are two empty columns here so that you um, you don't overwrite what you have beside because the the middle name and last name will be written here so I'll take a copy of these uh, because uh, this this option will keep the first name here or the first thing here the second and third would be uh, the to the next two cells uh, to the side so I'll go text to column and then you have two options um, it gives you a preview of what you have but it gives you some options here um, the first it's uh, it's how you choose the uh, the splitting of the uh, of the contents of the cell so you may have two options one of them is to have this delimited option which means that the Excel would look for something uh, like a comma like space like whatever thing you specify and it's gonna use this symbol uh, or the space as the separation point so it will know that the first uh, item or the first part would be would end at the space and then it would take the second part uh, as uh, or, or whatever uh, after the space as a second part um, so it says characters such as commas or tabs separate each field uh, the second option is the fixed width is uh, actually doesn't look at any symbols you tell Excel that you would take three or four characters or whatever the number of characters you specify and after these characters it is gonna uh, split the cell so in our case we're gonna be working with the space uh, I'm looking for the space between the the names so I'll make it delimited and then it will give you the option is what is the delimiters uh, you want to use the tab you want to use semicolons you want to use comma um, you can specify whatever thing you want but in our case I'm gonna use space but just take a look at here and then see what the space is gonna do uh, so it gives you a preview of the cells after the splitting so it's it's pretty uh, useful uh, to see how the cells would look like after you're done and then I will press next uh, and then it will say um, uh, the screen lets you select each column and set the data format so uh, uh, you say the destination is B2 uh, I can make the destination whatever cell I want I, I just keep it as B2 but you can make the splitting to somewhere else which is which is very cool um, and then you press next uh, or finish and here you are you have all the names here um, 
in the first column and then the second column has the middle name and the last name has the um, yeah, or the the last column has the last name so it's it's pretty pretty uh, quick process you see it didn't take more than a minute and you have 42 names and it's gonna be valid for 100 names 200 names it's just gonna look for the space and it's gonna space so let's go for the second part that you have the opposite case you wanna merge the contents of the cells so here you have the first name middle name and last name and you wanna put the full name here and uh, so it's it's actually you're um, doing the opposite of what we did in the uh, previous uh, page um, and to do this there is no um, to my knowledge there is no uh, function that can do it but you can use um, um, some useful option in Excel is that you can um, make this cell contains the, con the contents of the first cell and that you can put the symbol and which is shift and seven and then you can add the middle name and then you can press N and you can put the last name and this is actually merging the contents um, so it has here the three names but the problem here is that you don't have spaces between the first middle and last name and to do this you have to manually put the, um, the space so you can uh, put whatever character you want by just putting it between um, the uh, um, these uh, inverted commas um, and uh, so it's gonna put A2, the contents of the first name, then leave a space, B2, and the middle name, and then leave a space, and then C2. So this is actually doing everything. So you can, um, you can drag it, so you can repeat the whole process for all the names. So uh, it's actually doing the same thing, but in the opposite way. You have the names split, and then you can uh, make them in um, in in one uh, one cell as a full name. You can make it in another format um, because actually you you you're the one who choose how the name will look like. So sometimes people like to put the last name and then will put um, comma and then space uh, and then we'll put the first name and finally the last name so it works um, you can do it this way or the other way depending on how you want the format to be you want to see the last name first or the first name first it is pretty pretty flexible you just choose how uh, it will look like so this is how you can split the contents of a cell using the text to data or data to column uh, text to column I'm sorry and then you can merge the cells using the AND function in Excel so I hope it helps and I'll see you next video inshallah. Bye bye.